and welcome back to another Falcons franchise. So here we are, week eight. Week seven, I guess, was a bye week. Um, so, and last game, if you remember, was week six, I believe, when we lost to the Saints. Um, so, we are coming off this loss. We got a rebound. And we've got yet another division opponent in the Carolina Panthers who are sitting at two and four. So, as we always do, we're going to go ahead and start taking a look at the Panthers, see what they got going on. Um, I, for those that were trying to watch the online game earlier, I apologize. I got caught up doing something in real life, and so the game ended up being simmed in the league. Um, I haven't even checked the results, so I don't know if I won or lost that game. But, um, so I, I doubt that's going to be played tonight. It'll probably be played tomorrow after I get back home from work and everything like that. Okay, so here we are. We got the Panthers. They still have Cam, of course. That's not surprising. With a rookie quarterback down here on the depth chart, Austin Houston. Okay. At running backs, they picked up Ryan Matthews. That's actually a good addition for them. Young running back, a lot of room to grow with Jonathan Stewart now backing him up. Um, and they still have D'Angelo Williams. They must have either re-signed him or something. And Pierre Thomas. So they've got running backs that at some point or other have all started for some team. That is actually a great running back group that they have. That could prove deadly if we aren't careful. I mean, none of them are super fast. Ryan Matthews seems to be the fastest of them all. But, you know, I'm sure it's a nice mix when you look at their, their skill sets and everything. You know, for instance, carrying. Look at this. I mean, Pierre Thomas, 94 carrying, trucking. You know, Ryan Matthews has not only the 90 speed, but he's also got some trucking to go with it, too. So that could be deadly as well. And, of course, a stiff arm, spin move, all of that. So, they, yeah, their running back core could be something nasty for us. But, you know, we've got to... Uh, Got to still push on here. Then let's see. There's Tony Fiamata. We don't care about him. Kelvin Benjamin, of course, is still there. And they got somebody named Charles Johnson. I'm not sure who this guy is. Okay. And then Nate Washington is on the team. Devin Funches is still down here. And Devon Bess. Okay. But, of course, as we know, Kevin uh, Kelvin Benjamin is the guy to stop right now. You know, I don't know much about this Charles Johnson guy, but Kelvin Benjamin is definitely a dangerous threat. Greg Olson's still here. He's always a threat, too. They got Ed Dixon and Michael Ignew here. We're going to quickly scan their line. 73, 76, 88, 89, and 74. So the outsides are a little weak, potentially, which could uh, allow our DNs to, to provide pressure. And also that left side in general is on the weaker end. So maybe sending some blitzes off that side could prove helpful as well. Let's see, we got Charles Johnson here. Of course, he's still a threat out here. And they got a rookie named e Ivan Agers, which actually he's not bad. A 74 overall rookie. That's pretty darn good. Uh, Glenn Foster. Coney Ely and, yeah, let's see. Star Lotulele, not surprising that he's still there. But Kawan Short and Ian Williams. And let's see, Shaq Thompson still there for them. Okay. Uh, of course, Luke Keekley. That's no surprise, though. Not at all. Uh, Desmond Bishop, Jamar Chaney. Okay. And then they got Thomas Davis. Of course, he's still there doing his thing out of Georgia. And let's see. Corners, Ben, ben A. Ben Wickery. I've heard of him before. Um, I think he's a rookie in real life right now for them. And they got William Gay over there. Dre Kirkpatrick, really? Okay. Um, that's interesting. Gabe French, a rookie corner. And then Melvin White. Let's see, who else? Trey Boston. That's safety. Young safety, too. Their, their secondary seems kind of young for the most part. Uh, and then Andrew Sandejo. I don't know anything about this guy. I've never heard of him before. But I'm sure he's out there playing for some team, if not for the Panthers in real life. And then their kicker and punter, and as always, rookie punter too. As always, we've got to go ahead and check their injuries too. So let's do that real quick, and then we'll jump into this game. Because I know y'all are probably tired of hearing me talk about it. So, Panthers have no injuries. So this is a straight-up 1v1 kind of game. Our ones versus their ones. So let's go. I'm pumped and ready for this game. Got the Panthers at home. 
I think this is our first time playing him this season. I don't like seeing that two up there by my loss record. So hopefully that's a lot. That's the only two losses we'll have all season. You know, I need us to show out. I need us to, to go 14-2 and two in the regular season to make a playoff run. You know, I forget what we finished at last season. I want to say it was 12-4. and four. But, uh, yeah. I got to find a way to get guys like Roddy White, or wait, Roddy retired, but like guys like uh, Dellen Brandon's, Dellen's Brandon, whatever the heck his name is, my, my number two wide receiver, more involved in my offense, and, and some of the other ones. I, I think I target Julio a little too much, but come on, it's Julio. Why wouldn't you target him, you know? Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. That's the way I look at it, at least. Defensive coordinators will look to their middle linebackers to lead by example in today's matchup. It's the Falcons going up against the Panthers. Paul Warlow up against Luke Keekly. Oh, we got to watch out for Keekly. We may be able to beat him on the edge. I don't know how fast Keekly is, but we may be able to outrun him. So we'll take a look and see. I don't know why they keep showing the grass. It's probably because of the new stadium. Let's go. On EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the light. I think you said it right. Center stage, players love it. Anytime you turn on the lights, they know it's special, and it brings out the emotion out of these players. And also, though, let's don't forget, the fans, they've been here all afternoon getting ready. So we're going oh, to we're kicking off first, too, so we're Brown's good. It's going to be deep here for the opening kick. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. Let's do this. We're underway here. Brown's going to start his return. And the there we go. Y'all saw how I did that. Took on that block. That way it freed up everybody else. Newton's heading Let's see what Newton got going on. Five touchdowns, seven interceptions, 1,080 yards. See, they're two and four. So you can, I know they're hungry for a win here. So we can't be slacking in this game. You know, I feel like in that Saints game, we did kind of slack off a bit and they made us pay. Between two defenders, we were draped all over him, too. That is well, crazy. This receiver can make the all catches right. when you throw it his way. And I think his talent, the way offenses are designed, and the rules. This could be deadly, but I'm going to try it anyway. Like him, almost unstoppable. Matthews in the backfield, single back set. First down at the 43. There we go. It worked out. We managed to shed that block just in time. And with that, let's look at the Panthers offense. Hoping to crank out some yardage on the ground. Let's see, today. let's see. So far on the season, they've been only middle of the pack. I'm gonna the keep Panthers it basic here. Decked out in a lot of pink. And we see pink throughout the building. It's breast cancer awareness month in the NFL. The Panthers take it from the 43. There you go. True Funk coming up and laying the boom. That's what we need to see going up against Ryan Matthews like that. Defensive lineup. This unit has had a hard time this season stopping anybody. I can't get over how different our team looks now. Third and ten, even though they're coming out in that two tight end, two wide receiver set, I feel like they're going to be throwing here. I was right. We're going to take over Beasley here. Really? Really? The Panthers put themselves in a terrible situation. 
third and long, but you know what? We okay. Got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome Okay, job. we got to find an answer here. Down. We keep getting them to third down here. Newton lines up in the pistol. Now first and ten. Matthew. Has space. Oh, my goodness. Ryan Matthews put that trucking to use. And so, you know what? I think it was my hit that, that knocked him off of the tackle. Because we had him in the backfield. I thought for certain that was dead in the water. Good job by the running back making people miss and getting dragged down just before he gets into the end zone. Wow. Durant came coming up big, though. How you doing, Rawington? Doing all right today, man. <laughs> we got a tough game here, man. We got a tough one here. All right. To the line at the we got to stay on them here. We got to stay on them. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. First and goal from the three. Get off the blocks. And that gains a few. Yes. I don't know how we stopped them at the one, but we did. And the offense is this close to scoring. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Let's go. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. Second and goal to go. That time it didn't work. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. That's a big way to get the momentum in your favor. I wanted to stop them, too. Yeah, what you been up to, Rongton? First quarter, you're on top of the other team, and you just feel like, hey, we got things under control, and you're putting pressure on the opposition to go out there and try to make something happen. Have I ever watched a TV show, The League? I think I've seen part of an episode. I know it's on Netflix, but I haven't checked it out too much. Is it any good or something? Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, not a flag. Not a flag. Come on, man. Why? Why, Jake Matthews? I got to get their discipline up, man. I'm tired of this mess. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't put in the right runner. Defender, and you got to get your front shoulder in front also to make it legal. Okay. Davis that time. Okay, okay, okay. He's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the Let's defense. See. They bottle him up. That's not what I want. Where is the... That's what I meant to do. We want Freeman in this package. we want Coleman in this one let's go ahead and run this here since we're running out of town oh you just finished an episode nice I'll have to check it out then there we go I'll take that I will take that let's go Coleman what a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very Let's go well again here out of this formation. We aren't going to run the same play. We're going to run this little That's screen nice. pass right here. Let's see. Falcons will take the snap from the 30. Uh oh. Go, 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 go. Stay on your feet. Ah, what the heck was up with that blocking? What the heck was up with that blocking? All right. Right on target. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second. I don't down like four. the way they did this. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. They need to get the really. Y'all won't let me flip that. That's some bull. Y'all saw what I wanted to do right there. I motioned him over so I could flip it to the other side, and they wouldn't let me do it. Maybe I had to flip it and then motion. All right, we need to guarantee this first down. Try to repeat. Yeah, no, I know I can't repeat his performance, man. Freeman's performance in real life was ridiculous. He did give me a lot of fantasy football points, though, in my FanDuel teams. He helped me win a little bit of money, a little bit of cash. Ha, ha, ha. 
Okay. I don't even know if I threw it at all that drive. I mean, it's still going on, but I don't think I threw a single pass yet. That's crazy. All right, we need to start throwing it a little bit then. Gatorade, born in the lab, proven on the field. Get that little Gatorade advertisement, make y'all a little thirsty. All right, here we go. The second quarter is under. Oh! Is hit and by what Short. the heck? How did we? I didn't even see what happened. Show the replay. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you that was power. too fast. It was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella. Busted nice. That sounded like a great team. <laughs> this is some bull. Okay. Now we're forced to make a big play here. I hate being forced into big plays. Ryan from the gun. Face mask, something. I was trying to throw it too. Thank you. You can see the face Grabbing mask on that one. Mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a... Oh, shoot. You know, Mick called the wrong play here. We'll right go with so it, though. Trying to tackle we'll go with it. Athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. Oh, no, no, no. So, I try to throw it. And we don't complete a single pass. That's not looking good. That's not looking good at all. Okay. We need a defensive stop somewhere. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down What the heck? To the end zone. Oh, dang it. It was a cover, too. It sure enough was a cover, too. That 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 corner that was up on him must have gotten beat immediately. Another touchdown early in the second quarter. And this is not looking good. And the coaches, did you have we can't afford to lose another one to a division start. rival. No, I didn't, Jim. They're, they're doing a terrific. Not against the, the two and four Panthers. This is. I, I love what they're doing on the defensive side. Really? When it's not uh, working, uh, for those that don't know, Rongton said, according to Pro Focus Football, the Falcons' O line has allowed the least amount of pressures in the entire league. I'm assuming that's through week three. That's still very impressive, especially considering our offensive line situation in general. That's what's up. Go. Go, rookie. Go, rookie. Go, rookie. Get us on the board. Let's go. Let's go, Timmons. 96 yard. I think that's his third on the year. When you get a kick return for a touchdown, a lot has to happen. Either third or fourth on the year. By the kick returner, but look at all the good blocks we saw down the field. Barely avoiding them tackles, too, man. Touchdown. But that's why he's in that spot right there. Falcons now will tack on the extra point. Man, the extra point is good. Yep, the rookie, indeed. The Panthers now holding on to a All right. lead. Let's see if our defense can actually make a stop in this game. This is ridiculous. It's starting to make me angry. Benjamin's really been the centerpiece of this offense here in the first half as he gets out there now. Let's see what we got. Well, you know what? He is the star wide receiver. There's no doubt about that. And when you're the star wide receiver, what is the job of the offensive coordinator? Five ways to getting the football. There we go. Here today. Yeah, yeah. The other rookie, I think, is still doing uh, punt returns, though. But I do remember when I almost benched him. And they stopped me for a short game. You know, but but there is a spot on the team though for having a good kick returner. You know what I mean? Those are always nice to have. Seven after the three-yard rush. 
There we go. Where is the defense? What the heck is going on? I, we had four guys around them. Four. Look at that. And he still almost broke it. This zone is not working for us. We're going to have to switch back to more man coverage. I try to mix it up, but it seems like this is the way to go here. First down and ten. Ryan there you go, Warlow. Warlow coming up the middle, making a huge play right there. You know what? Let's run it again. Let's run it again. Second and ten. Let's go. They got Olsen spread. We got a corner on them, though I believe. Second and ten. He'll get it again. Warlow, once again. Look at him go. Let's go. All right, this one we will actually go ahead and drop back. No. No. That's another reception. Give him two. Hold up, man. Sorry, we got to challenge that. No way did they just allow that to happen. That play is going to be challenged. The previous play is There's no question. You saw that? Ball, Look at the way that he made that play. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession? Oh of the my gosh, and I and think it is in. possession of the football. I do think it is in. See if they're in bounds. Unbelievable. You must must maintain possession of the football as you go to the and ground. The, play, the Panthers on their offensive play sheet, they don't have many plays. For so the challenge pays off. The referee overturns yes. the play. Yeah, good challenge by the Oh, we needed that. The evidence was clear. And always, I think when you're a head coach in the NFL, oh my gosh, we needed that. Friend up there to tell you, watch the TV and let you know when the challenge, good job by the head coach. There's the other rookie, and we didn't get anywhere. You said also pro football, PFF ranks Vic Beasley Jr. as the number one rookie through three weeks. They talk about how he's still able to pressure the QB versus all pro tackles. That's what's up. Although I want him to get more sacks. That's my thing. I know he's doing great. You know, I know it's not all about the sack numbers, but I want him to get more sacks. Let's go. We got to make something happen here. We were given a gift. We got to make something happen with it. Hurry up, hurry up. Ah, two minute warning. Now we're forced into throwing again. Let's see if we can catch him off guard though. Following the two minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. Matt Ryan under center. There we go. There we go. That's his first reception today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The extra tight end. The Falcons take it from the 38. Freeman's taking the handoff. Dang it, number 75. Get there. Second and four following the run. Freeman's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Falcons. Oh, we'll call that timeout. We'll call that timeout right there. We'll set up now at midfield. Let's go. The Panthers lined up in the nickel. First and ten. There we go. This play set up by the long gainer. Hurry up, man. Hurry up. Ryan from the shotgun. This and is Ivers awful. At the 30. All right. You said you really need to show me that vine. It shows Vic's first step last week. Okay. I'll check it out. If you post it, I'll try to check it out. 
Second down coming up. Hurry up. I want a touchdown off of this, fellas. No. Uh, Lolo giving me a headache, man. Toy Lolo giving me a headache. Nice job of the he had position. In position. I thought for certain he would just come down size, with the ball. Look at reception. that. Wow. I mean, what a play by their defense, but still very frustrating there. It's like he purposefully batted it up as if it were a volleyball or something, man. What the again. heck? His first half performance to this point has been magnificent. It has. It's, it's really been almost flawless. Just oh, yeah, yeah. Sights, so smart in his decision making and throwing the football right on target. First down at the 16. Catch made. Still not taken down. We send all those blitzes and we still can't get in there. You saw how many people we had coming? We had like six, right? Five or six. In practice and training camp. Oh, yeah, yeah. Know what's going on in the offensive side? How Hold on. Where is it at? Good job that time by the offensive Where's that play? I just saw it. Is this it? Let's try it. Here in the first half. I'll take it. Uh-oh. Got a linebacker on Olsen. We'll cover this manually. What is Janoris Jenkins doing? That's his first reception today. All right, I'll try to check it out after well, the game. Two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive uh, ball carry that time. He knows he can get no more yards. He stepped out of bounds to stop the clock. Playing press coverage to the outside. First down at the 34. And Matthews has got it on the screen. Still wow. Wow, Ryan Matthews, what the heck? Plays are not always going to be perfect. Tight coverage. What the heck the was that? And a nice job by the receiver. Catching the football, breaking the tackle, and getting down the field for a few extra yards. Look out, the defense is showing a blitz here. First down at the 21. Catch made near the sideline. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what else to run. Kelvin Benjamin is dominating us. I think that was him again. Yeah. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense. Let's try this here. Newton's now completed four in a row. Goal line defense on the field. Makes the catch. Well. Touchdown. Down by 14 again here, and, and we don't have much time at this point. In a very comfortable spot heading into the halftime break. Ooh, they are feeling good. There's no doubt right. about that. It's been a, a show of good offense here so far in the first half. And now what you got to do, halftime comes, you got to go in there and tell yourself to keep this going. Where's my the kicker turn? There it is. The Falcons ready to return the kick. Y'all sees me want to switch to 3-4. I'm not a big fan of 3-4, honestly. I'm really not. I mean, I know it would probably make more sense with guys like Beasley and whatnot, but, you know, I know when I played in high school, it was all about the 4-3 defense. I believe more in the 4-3 defensive philosophies than I do the 3-4, you know. I, I kind of like having it like that. But um, I do, a, you know, I may try a, like a mix, though, more of a hybrid kind of approach than anything, if I try it. and I love the way he plays. It just rubs off on all of his teammates. Ryan takes it from the gun. Launches it down the field. With the oh, come on, rookie. Come on, rookie. The quarterback. Hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just oh. tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. And Ivory's got it. Screen play. Stay up. And in on the tackle. Nobody's blocking out here. Is complete. Larry Ridley is Nobody blocking out here. All right. Studios, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. He's got a chance to return this one. No, don't step out. Right there. I didn't mean to hit the spin. 
<laughs> you said you wish Madden let you play safeties at linebacker like Cam. Southward. The illegal block in the back is going to move this team back. Yeah, you know, Jim, the rule of thumb here is if you can read the name on the back of the jersey. That could be interesting, but at the same time, I think it could be glitchy, too. You know, I mean, I know you'll say, oh, well, they do stuff like that in real life. And it's true. I'm sure they do. The problem is with Madden, there's always ways to kind of glitch around things, and they never can fix them all. You know, I'm, I'm not even a fan of that. When people post all those little glitch videos, hey, look at what I found you can do and all different ways to nano and things like that. To me, that's not real. You know what I mean? That's not real football. Sure, it may happen where somebody comes through untouched in real life every now and then. But when you can do stuff consistently like that because of the programming, you know, that's not real to me. So, I, you know, like I said, I try to play straight up for the most part. Although I do know that stuff like that happens in, in real life. So. Although if you really want Cam to do that, you can probably just do a position change in the offseason and just change him to linebacker and then you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. We have not had a lot of success passing this game. First down at the 40. Not down as he fires it. Somehow that linebacker covered both guys. There's no doubt about it. You can throw Let's try that again. You can pump fake the safeties. Make Let's one try that one more time here. We're going to put him on a little the hitch. Of things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Going for the deep ball. And they oh, what was that, Julio? Tough situation you found yourself in. Third and long. You're losing the football game. There are not many plays here that are going to pick up the first down. So be careful. <laughs> yeah, I told you, man. There's all sorts of little things people do like that, man. That's why I'm not too big on stuff like that. Actually, even in the league that I play in, we have rules against things like that. That's why I prefer playing in the league. I'm going to play online. You know, I prefer playing in the league um, that has those kind of boundaries. So that people can't take advantage of, of that kind of system. What the heck kind of terrible blocking? I could have sworn we had th two or three blockers in front, and it was like there was nobody there. Yeah, I mean, I did a draft champions team or whatever at first, and I think I did one or two games against the computer, but that was about it. have tried to stretch the field vertically and they certainly have Newton's been dropping back and airing it out he's had the time to air that football out and what we are seeing the speed of this offense it's speed you know I wouldn't mind seeing an online league though where everyone is required to broadcast and uh, what you do is you put all of those up so like people can follow along the whole season kind of thing I think that would be kind of cool to see though um, although I know it takes a lot of coordination and people have issues to work out and everything like that. But, you know, I, I think if you were really trying to reach out, though, to hit a lot of different fans, that could be something that's neat. Will I say something like that? Probably not. Just because, you know, people will be like, oh, I don't want to put my games out there. I don't want so-and-so scouting me, which is a legitimate concern. But at the same time, that's what happens in real life, though, is that people get scouted and you still got to learn to adjust. You know? First down at the 20. Up the gut here. Wow. First time Cam runs something like that. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm stretching here to. trying to find something so that'll slow different. down their offense. I mean, it's 21 to 7. We're not out of this at all. But we definitely need to make something there. happen here. Look at this. Look at the coverage. What is he doing? What is he doing that we can't cover? We play man, he, he beats us. We play zone, he beats us. I mean, do I need to cover him myself? The Panthers snap it at the 36. Throws the pass. 
Look at that. We can't even get close to Cam. 11 for 12, 233 yards. Thanks to their quarterback. One of my favorite plays isn't even in this doggone formation. To keep his team on top. He has been so efficient here today. Very smart. Making Press them. This is a freaking blitz. That's why your football team is winning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's really? When you try to guess the snap count. Where was I? We were doing this. Is spotted right at the 46. Let's try this again here. Matthews lined up in the backfield. First down at the 46. Wow, and he still almost came down with it. Cover one robber, I'll try it. I'll try it. I have no problem trying to. As he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Second and five coming up. My only concern with this, though, is you have one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside with Kelvin Benjamin. You know what I mean? That's my only concern. How is he getting open? Oh, my goodness. They come to the line and Let's try it down. again here. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. Well, that stopped the run at least. I think that was true fun on the tackle. Probably from the motion. So many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Set up now at the 36. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Stewart lined up in the backfield. Stewart's going to take the handoff now. Wow. Picks up eight here. We sent so many people and still getting nice picked up. That time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Uh-oh. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. The Panthers take it from the 28. Looking across the middle. Greg wow. The catch. Oh, we had a linebacker on him. I wish I had paid attention to that. The Panthers See, I don't have any good corner li cover linebackers. That's what I really need. If I had a linebacker that could cover and man or zone really well, that would really help. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Johnson. Look at that. Panthers. We might lose this game too here. Somehow we got to find a way to get three scores just to tie it now. And they look to have seized control of this one with that touchdown. Boy, I think they did. Now it's up to the defense. Go out there and shut the opponents off. Unbelievable. This game is in the bag. The Falcons will now be in an even Yeah, they decided to challenge us. We had a fast start this season, but losing two in a row definitely hurts. And another flag. Another block in the back or holding or something like that. Yep. Wow. It's an illegal block in the back, and the coaching staff cannot be happy about this. No, it's a bad decision, and most of all, it's dangerous. You can hurt players when you. I don't even know if Julio has a catch in this game yet. We're about to see. There we go. We need to run hurry up offense here. I need to. Dang it. One handed catches, Bill, are becoming a thing of art. Well, they practice it now, Jim. I think as they're growing up, they <clears throat> practice it out on playgrounds when they're in practice and they come out here in the game and they just make it happen. That is really, truly an incredible one handed catch. But it's wow. So what is with these plays here? NFL, pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just you know what? serious here we about go. what you're doing. Go. 
Falcons will take the snap from the 35. Going deep. It's Hold on to it. Oh, come on. Sometimes on third. Come on. Side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly wow. and short. Okay. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. I don't even see the plays that I want to call, so we'll down. just call one of these. See if we can make it work. The Falcons will look to get to the 45 to pick up a first down. Gonna be a penalty don't here. be a hold. We finally got another first down. Yes. Let's see. Uh, we're going to decline that. Is declined. That last play will hold up. The drop ball gate. Yeah, heck yeah, man. That's what it feels like out here. The Panthers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. First down at the 47. Oh, my gosh. This rookie is killing me. The Panthers lead. Oh. Is look at the turnover ratio, and that tells the story, Phil. It sure does. And listen, everybody. You did not just do it again. So let's look at this game here. I call it takeaways. They are. He did not just drop it again. The offense. What a job by the defense. Second down and ten. Can't hold on here as this goes in. Wow. Just wow. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make Just plays. Just unbelievable. But a good play there and another incomplete pass. Third down and ten. Freeman's ready to run off the screen. And he's going to be tackled. <laughs> and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Panthers lead right now. Oh, my why. goodness. That defense has shown up to play. Jim, to win a okay. NFL, you have to do all three phases of the game the right way. Offense, special teams, and that defense. Okay. Must show up. Maybe we can find some Good some luck so here. The Something. Defense now is going to go nickel. The Falcons. I shouldn't even thrown that. He was double covered. You know how it is sometimes. You just want to force it to your number one. That might be about it in this game, unless we get a defensive stop. That's probably about it. When one quarterback plays well and the other doesn't. That can lead Matt to Ryan, 71 like passing yards. Yeah, it has been 71. But look, there's always reasons why a quarterback plays well or doesn't, Jim. It truly is a team game on the offensive side, and the good numbers come from the offensive line that played well, and the bad numbers come from an offensive line that really struggled here today. Matthews takes his spot in the backfield. Durant's there. Yeah. Falcons pride themselves on their defense, but it hasn't been a strength for them. 363 today. yards yeah, allowed it's today. It's not working today. They've been out there for a lot of plays, and you know what is happening? They have fatigue, and when you have fatigue on the defensive side, what goes? You can't think clearly, and you just keep making bad mistakes. First down at the 33. Look at this. We're sending six people right and still getting held. Why is the offense is coming through on the season you see the numbers and they're not great but today they certainly have been okay. in the groove jim i'll just say this finally all the hard work is paying off <laughs> the show on the field i hear you man one frustrating year for this offense whoa for the touchdown. wow there was nowhere to run could have said this in the first quarter instead of waiting until midway through the fourth but this game is over it is there was nowhere to run the way you said it is a there's a finale but the panthers have thoroughly kicked my butt in this game they have they absolutely have because this was one pitiful effort and as he takes the knee ryan i mean i want to get more than just seven points though that's the thing 
Jones. I really want to get more in these seven. And a very uncharacteristic performance for him today. You can see what an effect it's had on his team when he's not performing at his usual level, Phil. Yeah, when you go out there and you want to win a football game, who usually leads the way for to help you win that game? It's a star player, and today that never happened. It was a surprise to us, and that's the big reason why they're going to lose. Come on. Malcolm did a good job that time throwing a pass on first down and picked up some some nice yards now second and short really puts the defense in a tough position Ryan's completion percentage 50% on the day and who was that was that Dellens he finally caught one I think he did yep Dellens Brandon finally caught one don't tell me the game just froze I don't want to play this again I'll have to send the loss if it did Oh my gosh. This is, see, they got too many bugs they need to work out, man. Games should not be freezing like this. I mean, I know it was about over. I know it was about over. I don't mind that. But to freeze like this, just, it, uh, well. All right, so I'm going to set myself to lose this game after I restart it and whatnot, and I'll sim it. And, um, yeah. So, I guess it'll be whatever it'll be when it's done. Hopefully, we don't get any injuries. But I'd like to thank you all for watching, though, as I got my butt whooped by the Panthers in this game horribly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the freeze gate, for real. But, yeah, thank you all for watching, though. I'll try to keep you all posted whenever I can. So, you all have a good one.